Anthony, um, welcome to Clean Tech TV and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Charles. Happy to be here. Can you explain Lynn Lisa's interest in the clean tech industry? Yeah, look, absolutely. Um, I, I think, you know, taking a step back, the, uh, you know, the wider Lendlease group has been a real leader in sustainability, uh, you know, for, for many decades, really. Um, Lendlease Ventures, which is the venture capital arm of Lendlease, uh, was set up uh, a, a few years ago, and that was born out of the wider group's commitment to sustainability. Um, and uh, I think what we are demonstrating is that um, by our activities and investments, uh, we're able to invest in, in businesses and through those partnerships uh, help keep the, uh, the wider group at the, uh, at the front of the curve in terms of sustainability developments and, and low carbon outcomes. Anthony, are there any particular areas of the clean tech industry that you're interested in, um, for instance, energy or electric vehicles? Yeah, there are three main investment themes that we're currently focused on, uh, energy, water and building technologies. And uh, uh, it's fair to say that the most interesting opportunities for us are in the energy space. So uh, clean and green forms of uh, energy you know, generation are, are certainly relevant and of interest. Um, energy efficiency, uh, basically you know, businesses that have a particular product or, or capability or offering that's relevant to delivering low carbon outcomes and, uh, and, and green, green retrofit you know, solutions. So what broadly are your plans for the future? You have a $100 million fund at the moment. Is, um, is that fully vested? Are there any plans to expand on, um, on that resource? Uh, look, including uh, an investment that we're hoping to close over the next uh, sort of month or two, um, we're about half invested. So we have another uh, you know, $50 million that we're actively um, seeking investment opportunities for, um, and we expect uh, you know, to deploy that, that capital over the next two or, or two and a half years. So what role do you see for corporates such as Lendlease in the development of the, uh, of the clean tech industry? I think there are you know, opportunities um, where, where, the, where the partnerships make sense uh, for the corporates to play a real acceleration role uh, with the you know, typically smaller, you know, more entrepreneurial you know, clean tech uh, you know, businesses that they're partnering with. And so where those you know, partnership you know, opportunities arise, uh, you know, the corporation, um, or in, in more specifically in, in this case, you know, Len Lease, um, is able to bring you know, management expertise, you know, contacts, capabilities that are, that are relevant to you know, achieving you know, commercial outcomes faster. So Anthony, what do you think will be the major drivers of clean tech in the coming years? Will it be domestic policy or international momentum? Look, I think there is unstoppable international momentum and I think international policy will be very relevant for setting uh, domestic policy and, and all that will happen. But I think we're in a position today where the... Uh, the, the private sector you know, risk-reward scenario um, is different to what it has been in the past. And so there's going to be a lot of you know, commercial um, incentive uh, and opportunities that, uh, that drive a continued uh, clean tech revolution. Anthony, uh, thank you for joining us today on Clean Tech TV. Thanks, Thanks Giles.